What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the covers of Urata Naoya's album, Unbest. Let's begin with the CD only edition of the album cover. Okay, so I like the rays of light in the photo. I like the coloration of the photo, and I even like the shadowing in the photo. However, what I have a problem with is Urata Naoya in the photo. I think that he could do a little bit more because he's just standing there. He's not really doing anything. Um, his body position isn't really dynamic. Um, his facial expression isn't really all that special. Um, the look that he has as far as his clothes is very plain. So it seems like, you know, the elements in the photo besides Urata Naoya's, um, besides him, all the other elements are kind of dynamic, you know, have some dynamic with them. Um, unfortunately, he didn't do his part in this particular photo, unfortunately. Also, I wish that they would, you know, his team would have positioned the light that's in his face um, so that all of that particular beam of light would be in his face so we could see all of his face on this album cover because like more or less half of his face is like covered in a shadow so we don't get to see the other part of his face and that could work in some situations and, you know, make the photo kind of edgy and perhaps, you know, editorial with that look. You know, perhaps you could pull off that look in some cases. But here, since, you know, he didn't really do anything spectacular, edgy or dynamic, it just doesn't work here unfortunately hmm. in this photo I think that Urata Naoya is lacking spirit you know um, comes off as lackadaisical you know and passive and since everything else seems to have passion in the photo except him that throws the photo off you know um, but, like I said, I do think that the elements for a good photo are there, definitely, but Urata Naoya has to bring something of himself and from himself into the photo. Let's move on to the next album cover. This is the album cover for the CD plus DVD edition. And again, I like the beams of light in the photo. And I like the coloration of the photo. And I like the shadowing as well, you know. And this time around, I like Urata Naoya's body position. Um, I like the angle that the photo was shot. However, I wish that he would not have covered his face with his hand. I wish he would have put his hand somewhere else because I really do think this is a nice photo. Um, and as well, it does look like he, he kind of lost his neck a little bit in this photo. 
But overall, I do think this is a nice photo. You know, the photo has some dynamic with it. And also, you can see his eyes. And I wish that they would have worked that beam of light a little bit better so you can see both eyes in totality. Because you can't see both eyes, but one is uh, slightly in the shadow. Um, but in this particular photo, this is a situation where kind of like not seeing, you know, and not having the light the light in all of his face where it can kind of work um, and I do think overall this photo works um, but I think what threw it off as I said before is the hand in the face you know the hand covering um, his mouth you know, I wish you know, well, his eyes are okay, but I wish they would have been a little stronger, had a bit more, you know, of an emotion behind them. However, I do think this photo is really, you know, edgy and dynamic and editorial. Um, I, I think that the elements here work really well to, you know, come together really well to deliver a really respectable photo. In my opinion, I think that the CD plus DVD version of the album cover is the better of the two photos, you know, the better of the two album covers. And I think I think so because of the way that the the photo looks. Um, because the CD plus DVD photo, you know, album cover, it's really like you know the beams of light are placed really well. The coloration is really nice, and overall, um, the body position of Urata now um, is more dynamic in this photo and more memorable in this photo and all of those elements that I said come together really well to make a very respectable photo but what do you guys think feel free to comment feel free to subscribe feel free to give me a thumbs up your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued into the next photo analysis. Adios and goodbye for now.